What's up everybody? Hope you're having a great, great week. Well, I get questions all the time about how many sticks I have and kind of the evolution of the sticks kind of over the years. So I thought it'd be really cool for me to kind of lay out a couple of the sticks I've had over the years, talk about them. I'm a bit of a hoarder and keep everything. So um, each stick kind of has a story behind it. So I thought I'd give you kind of a look into some of the um, ones I've had and uh, share my story. So here's some stick stick stories. we have is my very very first stick um, it is signed by the goat Jen Adams 7 um, it's brown and it is very short um, but this is the first stick I ever picked up so I don't think I'll ever get rid of this one even though it's covered in dust and the strings would probably rip apart if I touch them um, but this is the first the first one I ever picked up when I was five so very cool at least to me this stick right here is one that I won two national championships with. I played in three national championships with this. Um, got it restrung a couple of times, so it didn't always look this nice, but this is one. It even still has my hair ties on it from games um, where I would forget to take one off my wrist. And this is one that I will never sell, get rid of, let anyone else use. Um, this is like, this is my baby. So this is one that's super special to me. It's got Maryland on the shaft, all of our stars for all of our national championships. Um, the tape is eroding and gross, but it's awesome. From here on, we kind of start the progression of all of my US sticks. So there's six right here, but I've probably had 10 or 12. Um, this one, De Beer, which is now out of business. Um, this was the first US stick I ever played with. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Caitlin McFadden's and she lent it to me. Um, but it has the old the US and the stars and um, clearly was dyed, but just looks so cool. And this is again something where like I started my US journey with this stick and um, have played with a lot of others since, but this is one I'll always keep just just for the memories. And then from here, we have five different honors, um, all with different stringing. So you see, started out kind of with this leather rail pocket that kind of came in all the factory ones and then moved on to, you know, a different ladder. Then we came the first rail, which had the knots at the back. Um, and then eventually came to the rail elite that I play with today that has the knobs. Um, so I actually have two of those. I have this one and then I have this one right here so some of them are taped some of them aren't the ones that are taped I think we uh, had rainy games that day so probably ended up taping it some of the tape is brown which is kind of disgusting but shows that it was used well and uh, probably won't be used again the next stick I have is an Under Armour Glory from the All-American Games so you can see it kind of right there this was from the Under Armour games that Corinne Lauren and I coached um, a couple summers ago. That one's a fun one just to keep, just because it was a really cool, cool project. It was cool to be a part of, um, something that I played in as a senior and then was able to come back and coach. Um, so I'm always going to keep that one. That's a good lesson stick for sure. Um, definitely doesn't have the emotional value that some of the others do, but it's still a really cool one and I will always keep it. And last but not least, these are my New York fight sticks that I played with this summer in the inaugural WPLL um, season. They both have the New York symbol on them, the logo. This one's the emissary, this one's the regime. And I would flip flop back and forth between these quite a bit. Um, 
I'm gonna always have these because these were my first pro sticks um, of the new league and just really something cool to be and special to be a part of. So these will always stay with me um, as well as this long line of sticks in front of me. So I better find a big garage. <laughs> All right guys, well that's my stick story. Um, I have a lot of stick stories to share, but I would love to hear yours. So comment below with a story you have about a stick, something that you'll never give up, or something cool that happened with it. Um, I think it's really kind of a special thing when you can get attached to a piece of equipment because that piece of equipment holds a lot of memories for you. So with that, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching and 